Hi there, this is Rachel again. We're back today with another one of those what am I going to do with this videos. Today we're going to be cooking roasted beetroot risotto. And this is a great uh, recipe. My family really love it. My daughter really, really thinks it's great because of the, the colour of it. But not only that, she loves the taste, we love to make risotto. So, with that in mind, let's get on with the recipe. For this recipe, we're going to be using the following ingredients. We need 500 grams of fresh beetroot, two tablespoons of olive oil, one knob of butter, one onion, which we're going to finely chop, one garlic clove, which we're also going to finely chop, 250 grams of risotto rice, 150 mils of white wine, then we'll also need 700 millilitres of hot vegetable stock, a handful of grated parmesan cheese and four tablespoons of sour cream. So that's all you're going to need for the recipe for, for now. I'm going to be using rubber gloves because obviously the beetroot's got a lot of colour in it that could transfer to your hands and you don't want to walk around with pink hands all day. So first we're going to put the gloves on. And what we're going to be looking at doing is peeling the beetroot, taking the stalks off, and then we're going to cut it into quarters and we're going to roast it in the oven for about an hour. Okay, I'm going to show you how to prepare a couple of these so you, you know what to do going forward. So what we're going to do is just peel them. As you see, you can, you're going to need the gloves because obviously it's quite pink. They're quite easy to peel. Um, I left the stalks on initially because it's uh, something to hold on to while you're peeling them. Make sure you get all the skin off. There we go. I'll do one more. You can imagine the colour as it, it's going to come through the risotto. And as I said, it comes out really pink. It's, it's quite a lovely, lovely, uh, lovely sight actually. Right, okay. Now we're going to chop the stalks off. And the little end. And we're going to cut the beetroot into quarters. That's the first one done. And there's the second one done. Okay, I'll come back when we're ready and we've prepped the rest of them and I'll put, put be ready to put them in the oven. Okay, so now we've, uh, we're back and we've prepped the beetroot. Put it up nicely into quarters. What we need to do, and what we need to think about, is putting the um, oven on at 180 centigrade, or if you've got a fan assisted oven, that needs to be about 160, and that is the gas mark four, because we're going to need to roast this beetroot off with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil for about an hour. It needs to end up being quite soft and, and lovely, because at, um, at later on in the recipe, we're going to blitz about half of this. Um, into a puree mixture, so that be it's going to be great. So let's just add the two tablespoons of olive oil. This is where the gloves come in handy. You're going to need to rub the olive oil all over this lovely beetroot prior to popping it in the oven to roast. Okay, that's all lovely and coated. So now we're going to pop the beetroot in the oven. You can see it there, it's looking all shiny and lovely. And we're going to roast that, as I say, at about 180 or 160 if you've got a fan assisted gas mark 4 for about one hour. Okay, so meanwhile, while the 
beetroot roasting we're going to start and make the actual risotto i've put the 700 mils of vegetable stock on a very low heat at the on the back burner and the pan i'm going to make the risotto in this is an oven proof dish but you could just use a saucepan to be fair this is on a very low heat i'm now going to add the butter and another tablespoon of olive oil We're just going to melt that down really nice and slowly. And we're going to add the whole of the onion, which has been chopped finely. And the garlic. And what we want to do is cook these at a nice low temperature for around five minutes. The aim is to get the onion and the garlic nice and soft and slightly translucent. It will cook down, it shouldn't take too long. So we'll come back when that has gone down to a nice soft consistency. Okay, so now we're back and we've, the uh, onion and garlic have gone translucent and are lovely and soft. That's about five minutes. Next we're going to add the rice, so that's 250 grams of arborio rice. We're going to give it a lovely stir in. Make sure we coat that rice with all of the lovely butter and oil, uh, olive oil that was in there. There we go, that looks great. Now turn the heat up a tiny bit. And we're going to pour in now 150 mils of white wine. We want to start to see the rice soak up that wine. And as you can see, the actual liquid goes kind of creamy looking from the, the actual rice itself makes it go that sort of colour. Just keep stirring it. The wine will soon be soaked up by the rice itself. And then we're going to just start adding the vegetable stock, a ladle at a time. And you need to get that rice to soak up all of that fluid before you put the next ladle full in. So it takes about a minute, I think, between each ladle full going in. So it's going to take you about 15 minutes to get that stock in. Okay, so now we've um, got all of the, the rice is cooked and all of the stock and wine has been absorbed into the risotto rice. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just pop this back over here and get 
the beetroot out of the oven. It's been cooking for about an hour. And it's, it's really soft. It's lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do is take some of this out and put about a third of it in the jug to blitz into a puree. It's going to be quite noisy this and, it's going to, and I'm assuming it's going to be good, good fun to view. So let's just switch this on and give it a whirl. going to be blitzed through and put into the visitor itself. Okay, that's about as fine as it's going to get. And we're going to give that a stir in. before your eyes it's going quite pink already this point before we chop the rest of the beetroot up to go into the risotto is about half of this parmesan cheese. If you're vegetarian you can use a vegetarian option for this cheese it's not a problem as long as it's a hard cheese it will go into risotto nicely. thinking as this was cooking that it might be a really nice dish to do on Valentine's Day. So I'm going to co go, come back to this now after I've chopped up the rest of the cooked beetroot, the roasted beetroot, and we will um, we'll put that we'll put the rest of that in shortly. give this a chop. We want to chop it into smallish pieces. Okay, that's nice to chop up. Let's move the So we're back and the risotto is looking really really fabulous now and oozy and gloopy and great. You can see all the beautiful pieces of beetroot like, like jewels in 
the risotto there. It, it does look absolutely fabulous. This recipe should feed around four. I mean, that's a reasonable size portion of, of, the, of the risotto. And to top it off, we're just going to sprinkle a little more parmesan on the top. And a and a nice spoon of the sour cream. Okay, so we're back and we've finished the risotto now. It, it's, um, I'm going to give it a taste and tell you what I think of it. That is a really lovely combination. The beetroot has a really subtle flavour coming through. But you can see the visual impact is amazing. That, that beetroot is really coloured through the risotto rice. And it's, the beetroot has returned a slight crunchiness, even though it's had an hour of roasting. The sour cream adds a slight, a slight creaminess taste, and obviously the extra parmesan cheese, even, even more so, adds a, adds a really creamy taste to it. I would, I would say it was really easy to cook, and all in all, it takes just over an hour. It's a, it's a, this, this actual recipe could feed four people, as I mentioned before. And it's, a, it's an absolutely lovely and really tasty dish. Okay, that's it for today then, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching my videos. If you did enjoy watching the video, please leave a like. And any comments down below will be uh, taken on board. And if there's any of the first vegetables out there that you think that, well, Rachel could give that a go, or Treacle or Bee could give that a go, then oh, I'd also like to see those in the comments down below. I, mean, I really enjoy cooking, and these recipes are something that myself and my family are really enjoying. So that's it for today. For today. I really hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you again. Bye.